Hey guys, welcome back to what might be the final episode of the Snow White portion of the Disney Princess Challenge. Because as you can see, I've got my list of revised rules that I made. Uh, following the original rules, of course, but adding my own little twist on everything. So we had Snow White start as a young adult, of which, yes, she is definitely a young adult with 20 days left till she's an adult. She has the musical, romantic, and family orientated traits. She has completed the soulmate aspiration. Uh, the... whatever that one is. That's the powerful void. Critter. She's completed the soulmate aspiration, as I was saying. She's had seven children, as evidenced here. And they've all got the same father, as evidenced by the family tree. <laughs> Jesus. Why has Gemma vanished on the... there she goes. I was like... So I was thinking, where's Minerva and uh, Gemma? They're both there, as you can see. That's a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids. Uh, they've all got, well, six out of the seven are children and all have a negative trait, which just means that Ruby might be a kleptomaniac when she gets up. And as part of their teenagers, or as part of their challenge, they have either got a level five of the toddler skill, the happy toddler trait, completed a childhood aspiration, or become an A-grade student. And Cinderella got Imagination level 5, got the Happy Toddler trait, Emma got Thinking level 5, Henry got Movement level 5, Mary Malga got, got Communication level 5, August also got Imagination level 5, and Regina got the Happy Toddler trait, uh, as evidenced here. They also have all got Ancient Bud Lice. Is she dancing? Regina is just breaking it down. That's actually super, super cute. The only one left is Ruby, and by the time, because Ruby is actually almost finished the, uh, she's asleep currently, but she is 50% of the way to imagination being level 5. So once she's got some foodies and she's had her nap, she will be ready. I've also had to remove Snow White's double bed and give her a single bed because there's just no way there's enough space for all these kids to go and uh, do things. It's 6 a.m. Most of these guys have school today. You've got school. You've got school. Let's check on their things. You're already a grade A. So actually Mary Margaret, no, Emma. Emma is already a grade A student, so I'm going to have to write that down. A student, or grade A student. Perfect for her. Cinders is a B student. And then we've got C, 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 and C. So all doing pretty good, and Ruby is still a little babbler But they're all pretty much done. We've just got to get... Ruby to finish her challenge and then yeah pretty much everyone's done and we can move on to Cinderella next it will take a bit of time though before we get to Cinderella's part of the challenge I do kind of want to play through their childhood won't be able to do it in gameplay because with the challenge essentially completed at that point it's just not going to be fun for you guys you will be just watching them all just go to school clean have fun god your conflict resolution is terrible Cinderella manners and responsibility responsibility is a plus have you actually done your homework You've done you've done your homework. That's good. Oh yeah, they're all playing out here. Has everyone actually done the homework? Because you've all got to go to school soon. Done, 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 done. You've not started. You can get a start on your homework. Because for some reason you've not started. So you can stop playing and do your homework. And Regina, have you done your homework? Yes, you have. So basically August was the only one who needed to do his homework. Everyone has got school in an hour and little ruby is just upstairs having a little bit of sleep where is snow white currently she is doing things currently just downstairs pootering about do you have okay so we do still have some uh, capri salad we've got some seed packets oh let's sell everything quickly and see how they're all doing because we've got the sages coming in nicely the Sage bushes. Oh, I think one of these can evolve. Yes, they can. And things need to be watered as well. Things coming along nicely. We've also got some onions and some pear trees ready for the fall. But they're not going to come in just yet. But these guys are all here playing, getting ready to go to school. There's just so many of them. Regina is also mean, so that's her negative trait. Are you even doing your homework? You're just wandering about. Do your homework. Do your homework, then go to school. 
And so it's just going to be Snow and Little Ruby at home today. That's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. We've got loads of like kids all just in playful, playful moods. And all busy playing on the pirate ship they had to put in the front yard. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at least yet. So everyone's heading off to school. Everyone's heading off except for August who's just finishing his homework. Then he can go off to school. Everyone's off to school. Ruby's still asleep. Snow, is she... She's talking to her plants. She's talking to her plants like a crazy person. Well, not a crazy person. It's actually good to talk to your plants because it helps them grow. I think so. That's good. We've got... Who's that coming by? Oh, it's... Uh... It's Mr. Postman. Hey, Mr. Postman. How are you doing today? Okay. August, yep. Daryl. Oh, Daryl's congratulating on your birthday. Cool. Finish your homework, then go off to school. And, oh, you want to help him with his homework? That's so sweet, Snow. His responsibility's gone up at least. Right, now he should be off to school. Yep, up he goes. Okay, so Snow. She wants a drink. That's absolutely fine. We're just going to open this up. We're just going to put some chicken on the ground. Put some chicken on the ground. There we go. And little Ruby's going to get up out of bed because she's going to be hungry. And angry. And she's sad and feverish. Because, yep, yeah, teething is coming through. But the nightlight helps them. Helps them a lot. Which is really, really decent. So grab yourself some little chicken. Grab yourself a little piece of chicken, and then we'll go and pop that back in the fridge. Because that's going to be needed for everyone else later tonight. Because everybody needs food. And then we'll play lots of Draw with Llama. It's nice and calm. Like a little snow. She's just like, hello, little Ruby. It's just you and me in the house. I think this is the first time Snow's had, like, only one child in the house. This is the first time there's only been one child in the house. Before it's literally been, like, it's either been screaming babies, crying toddlers, toddlers everywhere. Just surprised that she, she could, she handled it by herself. Oof. I think you can send a babysitter around to look after all the kids, because I feel like Snow really needs to go on a date with Daryl again. Ooh, who's texting her? It's the principal, love letter from Henry to his teacher. Henry. Don't punish love. Increase sympathy. Yeah, Daryl's... No, oh, Daryl's working. He's, he's doing alright. He's doing alright. Uh, clean that up, I think. Just pop that on the wall. And then we'll play some... Uh, dolls with Ruby when she's finished food. I say finish. <laughs> there we go. This be getting her imagination. Uh, nice night. Yeah, she's still very sad. She's still very sad, but she's playing with Mumsy, which is definitely helping. Plus, her silly trait is helping it go up very, very quickly. And I'm thinking, I have a plan for Cinderella's arc, essentially. And basically, it does involve me using the Realm of Magic pack, kind of. Because I've got this beautiful idea of, um, because we know, well, the story of Cinderella, again, this is like kind of, the Disney stories are not going to go the way they, like, will traditionally go. Mostly because of just how everything's kind of worked. Especially with all the spell casting. Uh, things. I mean, brilliant idea to use Daryl, but with a bunch of spell casters, it's going to be very confusing. I do have my magic school that I made. I've put it in the magic realm. But I've kind of wanted to use this idea of perhaps... Like, Cinderella obviously has to go... Because uh, in the original rules, it's more of a generation... Thing. Each kid just follows their own legacy rules. And I've sort of redone it, but I've got some sort of plans in mind. I've made it so everyone's got to complete an aspiration, as well as complete other challenge aspects. I'm, that's why I'm looking forward to Belle's one. Because Belle, I gave very specific... Like, I had a very specific way in how it follows the story of Beauty and the Beast, almost. But my idea for Cinderella is essentially that she'll go and live with Daryl in Glimmerbrook for a while 
problem is, is there's not really... I think there might be a big enough lot in Glimmerbrook, but I'm not too sure. I'm not sure the house will be big enough. I think it might be. But I'm not too sure, because the chateau is also, like, really, really cool as well. But it's a chateau, and you have to use, like, a mod or a cheat to turn it into a residential lot. Which, I don't actually know what that cheat is. But that's kind of the idea of what you got to do with that. But... I remember when you get Realm of Magic, Daryl is initially engaged to someone called Amelia Ernest. In order for him to marry Snow, I kind of had to delete that engagement, so I had to use MCC to sort that out, which is how we could marry Daryl and get... Oh, these cutie little beans, they're going to look all freaking cute as uh, teenagers, I just know it, because they're all actually pretty cute now. And my idea was essentially, Cinderella goes to live with Daryl because Six siblings, living with her mother, small house, everyone's got a single bed. It gets pretty cramped and she's the oldest so she's been living in with them and looking after them for a while that she kind of needs a break from the family because they're driving her nuts kind of thing. And Daryl's like, you know what, you're a spellcaster, you've got charm blood in you and grandma, your grandmother would have loved to meet you. Why don't you come to Glimmerbrook, live with me and my sister, we'll look after you, we'll give you... Uh, schooling, we'll take you to the magic realm to teach you magic. We know the sages, they're all good. I still haven't made over Simeon, I need to do make over him at some point. And basically, do like a fun sort of, oh, Cinderella's going to the magic realm to go and study magic and stuff and become a fairy godmother kind of thing. But we have the problem of where's the evil stepmother and step siblings come in, and I think I kind of know how to bring them in. Kind of. But it should be interesting because how I'm going to start it is I'll start off with like a sort of once upon a time kind of explanation of how Cinderella came to be in the predicament that she ended up in. Which would be fine. They're actually all going to be back soon. So as soon as they're all back, they're all doing their homework. How are you doing, little Ruby Lee Rue? She's doing all right. Oh, 78%. Oh, you're so close. Daryl wants to meet... At the Museum of Archaeology? Oh, I'd love to. But we can't. That's something I've wondered. How can I incorporate jungle adventure into this? A lot of these I'm using a lot of packs. Because the Mulan one, the Mulan generation that looks at that, and it's like, obviously you've got to have Strange Phil, because it's like the perfect sort of combination. Okay, why do the kids stay well past schooling hours? It's like four in the afternoon now. Shouldn't they all have been back by now? Also, is that Nancy Landgrab in a pink dress? What is going on here? But yeah. Good plans for Cinderella. Kind of involves the Cinderella story. Kind of involves making my own version of Cinderella story. Involving what I've done so far with this. It's very hard to kind of be fully, like, Disney accurate with The Sims 4 with all these modernizations. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I'm going gonna, gonna to go into Build By and we're going to quickly look at something that I installed and see if it works and we might get Snow White to test it out. Mary Margaret wants to invite over Christy. You totally can invite Christy over, Mary Margaret. Grades are up, grades are up, grades are up. Grades are all up. Perfection. All the kids have just shown up there. But there was a mod I downloaded and I want to make sure that it still works. Wait, it's, there it is. So it's a vintage typewriter by Esmeralda. Now, I'm curious to see if it's going to work, because it's look, it's, re it's really cool looking, it looks very vintage. It gives you video gaming skill apparently, because it's basically a uh, clone of the this computer, which is why it's so cheap, and the fun and reliability are very low. But I wanted to try it out and see if it actually works, but we really need to put it somewhere. I have no space. We'll have to stick it out in the garden for now. Let's just stick it around on the side of the house for now. And do just a quick little test. Also, I have a, I have a Skyrim altar. It counts as a desk, apparently. They're from the Remus series, and they did a bunch of Skyrim conversions, which are pretty cool. That's actually super cool. Alright, I'll just do some generic things, because I need to... I want to check and see if this typewriter works. If not, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, I'll just keep Chair, there we go. There's a typewriter outside for anyone who wants to... Actually, I'll get one of the kids to use it in a second. But for now, I need to pause and have everybody start doing their homework. 
everybody came back at 20 past 4. So everyone has to do their homework. So homework, homework, homework. <laughs> so many of them. Homework, homework, homework. Everybody just do your homework. You can all eat food later. How is little Ruby doing? She's doing. 88% she's doing well. She's doing well. She just, yeah. Yep, Snow, get up quickly and go outside and just test out the typewriter quickly. I want to see how it how it looks. I mean, I'm curious to see how the, how the play game thing will work on it, but let's go and just practice writing on it quickly because I, I just want to see. I just want to see. All the kids are here doing homework. All the kids are here. They got rainbows over their head. Apparently Christy was around. I don't know where they've gone. But all the kids are doing their homework. And little uh, Regina's got a little rainbow over her head. Which I don't know why. Oh, I might be from my uh, good schools thing. How's it looking? Snow. Okay. So basically the same. Although it does look like she grabs a mouse, which obviously she doesn't, but it works. Uh, Daryl, why don't you come on, come on over? But there we go. I actually like that. That looks great. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't, but I'd love an actual typewriter in the game, which would be kind of cool because typewriters are also kind of hipstery as well as being super, super vintage. I actually tried to look for like old Polaroids and like typewriters stuff because they just look so cool. Yes, Ruby has developed her imagination to level five. That's three who got imagination level five. That's actually really good. Imagination level five. All right. I know you're super super tired. But you're going to come down here. You're going to finish typing on the typewriter. And I think the cake is still... Uh, is the cake alright? Nope, somebody has taken a slice of the cake. Okay. Let's cook a little birthday cake for uh, Ruby. And this is actually perfect because we'll actually be able to go into Cass and see how everyone looks. Let's do a white cake this time. Actually... Yeah, we're doing a white cake now. I was going to say, let's do a strawberry cake, but... Yeah, too late. Too late. Everyone here is all doing the homework. I think Cinderella's completed her homework. Has she? 25% done. But she's a B student currently. So, good for her. Everyone else is doing their homework. Like, good little beans. Good little beans. Snow White's cooking a nice cake for everyone. Little Ruby Charm is on her way downstairs. She's finished playing with the tablet. She's hungry. She's tired. She's going to get... She's supposed to be heading downstairs. Come on, Ruby. Head downstairs. Head downstairs. You can do it. You can do it. You made it to Imagination Level 5, which I'm very impressed with. Okay, Emma's completed her homework because she's the smartest of little smarty beans. Which I absolutely love. I'm going to have her go and grab some leftovers. I keep pressing this goddamn light by accident. Oh man. Oh, I should be having a build video coming up soon. Similar to the shell, made like a shell in December for a challenge. At least I think it was December time. And it's only taken me until now to finally build a house out of it. Uh, talent showcase. Daryl, why don't you come on over instead? Because you can see all the kids. You can see all the kids. You'll love it. You'll love it. So come on over. Because also you get to see Ruby age up and we'll see how she looks. One thing I will say, that'll be kind of, uh, well, kind of interesting. Okay, Mary Margaret's completed her homework as well. Ah, uh, who's boning? Spice Festival. Oh, God, everyone. Where's Mary Margaret? God, I've got so many kids to keep track of. So many kids to keep track of. I may as well. I should have just said cool to meal. That would have been so much easier. For everyone.
There are charm is coming on over. We're gonna go and put the candles on. Where is my little toddler Rooney? Is she coming down the stairs or is she struggling? Something in the way. So she can't come down the stairs, so might have to do the old the old the old teleportation. There we go. Just popped up there on the ground. I'm also gonna just make sure everybody who needs food is getting food. Alright, uh, you grab foodies. Next snow. Before you put the cake down, make sure don't even think about trying to sneak a piece. Let's put those birthday candles on because it's Ruby's little birthday. And she is going to be basically... I'm going full Red Riding Hood. I've kind of got a theme for all of them. Cinderella is obviously Cinderella. But definitely Ruby is going to be a little Red Riding Hood. Because that's why I named her. The way she she is. Because in, in Once Upon a Time, Ruby... Uh, Red Riding Hood. No, dear. She's, poor little girl's passed out. But in Once Upon a Time... Red Riding Hood is known as Ruby, and she runs helps run a diner and a B and B with her, with her grandmother, with her grandmother who's the uh, who has a crossbow by the way, which is actually kind of badass. It's kind of badass and like really fun. Oh, I need to get back to watching that show. I think I got to season four. Or season three. Either way, they're at Neverland. That's the part where I am in Once Upon a Time. I think that might actually be one, uh, season three or four. I think it's season three. So Ruby is going to be aging up. Three blondes and four for black haired uh, kids. Actually, I think you might have brown hair. No, you've got black hair. You've got black hair and you give me Donna Sweet vibes, which I kind of like because Donna Sweet is actually such a cool character in Riverdale. Ruby has aged up. She is going to want to be a little social butterfly. What have they done to you? Witness to a bully. Cool. Let's stand up for our friends and Ruby. Ruby has to be a Either a glutton, a kleptomaniac, evil, or erratic. I'm gonna go with kleptomaniac. Because I like this idea that she steals things, perhaps. Oh, would you look at that? Her, she's, she's got red hair. She's got red hair, which is kind of interesting. Alright, you know what? Let's call to a meal. Everybody, let's have some cake. Let's have some cake. Doesn't matter if you're tired. Everybody gets cake. Alright, let's have a quick look at a uh, angry Red Riding Hood. She's got red hair, which is kind of interesting. And pink eyes. But she's 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 looking kind of cute. Oh, she got freckles as well. So many of them get freckles. If they get freckles, they get the Cerberus freckles. Essentially, cause so Cinderella and I think... Uh, not you. Uh, but definitely Mary Margaret. Cinders and I think Henry uh, have all got uh, freckles because it's all basically they're all from Daryl who's actually looking super super adorbs today. Super super adorbs. I will say that Cinderella is definitely like closer to her father than most of them. I'm gonna have to send them all to bed as well soon so I'm gonna actually go into cast full edit mode and quickly sort out little uh A little Ruby. Because we got time. It's only been 25 minutes. Okay, this is what we have been... This is what the EA randomization has graced us with. Cute little uh, thing there. Oh, she's actually super, super cute. But like all her siblings and Snow White, they get the Dolce eyebrows. Your eyebrows are blonde, though. So I'll let you keep the blonde eyebrows. Your eyes are green, like Daryl's. I think, so. I think they're green. Uh, you won't have those freckles. Instead, you'll get the Cerberus freckles as well. Already looking super, super adorbs. Given her that simple Nessa skins kid one. Actually, 
I also have the this one. Ah, eh, maybe not that one. That's a Grim Cookies uh, face overlay. I got there's the Simandi one maybe, which is not too bad I think. So I've been using that one. Let's try Goo Goo. Ah, Goo Goo overlay works. Yeah, we'll use Goo Goo overlay for now. She's looking super super adorbs. And it's given her red hair, but I did give her black hair because I was going for the Red Riding Hood kind of thing. Oh, these are the new Simplicity hairs I just downloaded. Very, very long. Please tell me that's like a really cool... Oh, that's what it is. I was like, what is it? And it's, the, um, it's like these weird little bits here. Grandma Whoa! I kind of like that hair. I've got one of... I've got this one on Regina. I feel like I should do a little, maybe a different one, because I'm using all the simplicity hairs on the girls mostly. Ha. Oh, but I want to see what I'm using. Oh. Let's try. Oh, let's actually give her the. Let's give her a plait. Oh, that's super cute. That's super super cute. I kind of like the red, the red riding hood. But I'll give her the black hair, which will be a bit better. Yeah. That, okay, give her that outfit. Not too bad. That's not a bad formal outfit. Nobody wears towels when they're when they're doing sports. But that's all fine. <laughs> Take off the glasses, but also put the hair back to black. That's a fine little onesie. Party outfit. Yeah. Oh, party outfit's perfect. That cute little dress. It's when they get to teenagers where all the real, like, things will set in. Because as a kid, I'm not too fussed. Uh, swimwear's alright. They're not really going to go swimming much. Decent little, uh, hot weather outfit. And cold... That's not a cold weather outfit. I don't know why they think the alien outfit counts, but it doesn't. <laughs> It does not. I'm going to give you a red uh, seasonal cold weather outfit. There we go. There we go. Now you look adorable. Alright, with that done, we can get back to handling them all. Make sure they all have foodies and go off to bed. And i got to get rid of all my toddler stuff now and just replace it all with kid stuff. I think this is like the first time since the, uh, since Snow and Daryl started dating that they've been able to just have some romantic time that has not been purely for reproduction. So they might actually be able to have some actual fun without it resulting in a pregnancy. Because they've already got seven kids and they're all, well, they all should be asleep, Henry. But they're just having a nice little fun. Daryl's staying over. There's nowhere for him to sleep, but they're just having... It's nice romantic kisses and cuddles and fun in the little hot tub in their little house. Well, in Snow's little house. In her little cottage with all her seven precious sleeping little angels. Because, thank God, peace and quiet and they're all actually asleep in bed. Then boy have the arm. <laughs> Whilst these two are just about to have some fun. Some fun that's not going to result in like two or three children being born at once. Because, my God, that was... That was insane. That was insane, but this is a nice uh, sort of end to Snow White's portion of the challenge. Very nice end to her portion of the challenge. Her wish came true, essentially. Her wishing at the wishing well came true. She met her soulmate, and she's had her seven, seven beautiful children. Her five beautiful daughters and her two gorgeous little sons. And soon they'll all grow up, they'll leave, well, most of them will leave, one of them will at least, to go live with her father, and then tragedy might strike. Lilith, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm not sure you should be here currently. There's like seven kids in this house, I don't think that'll work for you. These guys are still just... They've had a good run. They've had a good run, and... As per the story of Cinderella, tragedy will strike. But for now, we're just going to let Cinder's, Cinder's Snow, all her siblings, just enjoy their childhood. Rang for now. Yes, but now they're, just having, Larkin. they're now just having a chat in the hot tub as well. And all the kids are asleep. 
What a nice way to finish this, uh... Demise. Ah, from. What a nice Better way to finish this name. series. His this Grinia. first part of the challenge. Snow White's had her seven children. She's never talked to an old lady. And I can actually attest to that. Oh. Oda Kids, Joaquin, Rumpel, Z Plume, adult women, oh, but never Etsy. any elderly women. She met Robin Hood and gave her money at one point, which Trangella. felt very apt Grinoy for him. But other than Yang that, B, Yang everything's all good. Zilnoy. Everything's Branca. all good, and all the kids completed Kisbot. their challenges. Press and we did this yeah. in nine oh. episodes. Zimis. Pretty decent if I Warm say so up. myself. I'm chuffed Boma. with this. Next part of the Disney Princess Challenge will be uh, Cinderella. This will be her story. And her rules are slightly Dolphus different. Hers Shigar. are a bit more story-based. Hers actually have, like, contingencies Maybe. that she has to do before she, Happy like, gets married and stuff. <sighs> so it's more to all sort of happen oh. when she's a teenager, if that makes huh. sense. But it's all gonna be good. It's all gonna be good. I think yeah, Daryl's asleep right now. Or oh, he's currently very, very sleepy. And Snow is just happy in the hot tub. So I'm thinking we finish Snow White's portion of the Disney Princess Challenge here. Right as Daryl just passes out on the ground. <laughs> right as he passes out on the ground. You've done it. You've done it, Snow. You've done it. You're sitting in a hot tub. You've got it made. You've got seven amazing little kids, four of which are spellcasters. You've got a beautiful husband who's very, very gorgeous, and she is just chuffed with herself. The next start of the Disney Princess Challenge Cinderella story will begin in a few days. I've got to get some other videos done first, and then I've got to do some playthrough of the save to go and set it all up, and then it will be ready for... Uh, Cinderella story. So Aww. thank you guys so much for watching uh, Snow White's portion of the Disney Princess Challenge, and I'll see you all in a Cinderella story. Bye-bye now. <laughs>